Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Mr. Hino, what are you doing at home? Well, it's Veterans Day today, but this video is going on for Friday. So I just want to let those of you that have served or have family that have served in the military, man or woman, we honor you and we are thankful for your service. Really appreciate all that you do, all that sacrifice. So from the bottom of our hearts to you, we're thankful for our veterans. We just, we, we can't say enough. Thank you for all that you have done for this country. So, so this video, what I want to do is just reflect on your competitions. We have a qualifying tournament coming up November 20th. Some folks are going to have a qualifying tournament tomorrow. So just some heads up things before you would go to your you know, qualifying tournament as first Lego League teams. All right. So if you want to hear that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh, yeah. Okay, so before we get going, it's fall, um, and fall around where we live is apple cider donuts. So today, and this today is Veterans Day, and again, we're recording this for tomorrow, Friday. Um, I took my family up to get apple cider donuts, and when I turned the corner, I couldn't just help but think that this machine was very robotic that made these apple cider donuts. Check it out. So this machine um, is just pumping out these apple cider donuts. You should see how long this line is to get these things. They're really tiny donuts, but they're so good. And they put sugar and cinnamon on them and they just taste fantastic. So this machine right here is making the apple cider donuts. Um, it's worth every penny. Um, I believe it was $5 for a bag of 12, uh, but they are just amazing. And this machine just, you know, it's so robotic. It was just cool. And I just couldn't help but not take video of it. So very yummy machine. Just thought you guys would get a kick out of apple cider donuts and the machine that made it. Okay, so let's go back to now, those of you that are going to be competing, um, just some reminders for you guys. Um, and what it's going to look like for us, it's going to be completely different than anything we have seen before. But what hasn't been looking completely different in the last year and a half. So let's go ahead and start off with things that you guys should just be aware of again. Definitely take a look at your rubric and just make sure you guys are covering the rubrics that the judges are going to be evaluating your team on. It's really easy to overlook those rubrics, but you know, before you guys go, just take a look again that you've covered all the bases of those rubrics. You would just regret going to your um, competition and overlooking something that your team just really needs to address. And so we're talking everything from your innovative project to your robot design. So take a look at those rubrics and just give them a look over again and make sure your team is going to try to get as best score as possible on there. So to give your team the best chances to moving on in your competition. Also beware of the, you know, change now with gracious professionalism. Let me go ahead and show you this doc. So this gracious professionalism, they have now changed it over, or not changed it, but moved it over to include your robot game table. So they're basically saying that when your team just shows up, they're going to, you can see right in the middle, give your team an automatic accomplished. So they're gonna score your team either developing two, accomplished three, or exceeds four. So they're looking for your team to be a team, um, not to get mad at each other, working really well with each other, encouraging each other. And so they're going to score your team obviously exceeds if your team is showing all of that teamwork, showing all of the cooperation and, you know, possibly score your team down if, you know, your team is getting upset at each other. Um, giving giving each other attitude, complaining to the refs, and then obviously a three in the middle there would just be, okay, they did pretty good, could have been better, could have been worse right there in the middle. So it's just something to be aware of, something definitely to talk to your technicians about, all of your technicians, no matter how many you guys are going to have, just to let them know, hey, when you're at that table, um, you know, you're being watched, you're being judged, you're being assessed on how well you guys are handling each other. So that would be awesome in your practices to go over that. Because again, when your team practices, usually they will adopt 
just certain things that become normal. So practice like you would do this in a regular or a real situation. So if something messes up, address it right then. Say, hey, Tommy, Susie, whoever, don't get upset. You know, have a plan. Like if the robot does mess up, what are you guys going to do? Are you guys going to redo that mission again? Are you going to move on to the next one? Just so that there's nobody caught off guard or caught surprised like, oh, what do we do here? And that's when things go bad. That's when people get upset and it might score your team down on that particular item. Okay, so now let's get to um, our competition. We're going to be going to our qualifying tournament November 20th. Completely different than what we've been accustomed to. Normally, we would show up early in the morning and at least go through lunch and then have our award ceremony, you know, one, two o'clock, depending on how many teams were there. And then, you know, it's, it's just a full day process. Well, that has changed this year. And you know what? Mr. Hino is definitely always trying to be a glass is half full kind of person and always be looking at the optimistic. So, you know, to look at this optimistically, our team is only going to be there for an hour. So our robot game, all of our robot game rounds, all of our robot design judging, our innovative project judging, that will comprise of an hour and then we're done. So because of COVID protocols, each set of teams are just going to have their time slot. And once they're done, they just will go home. There's going to be a live stream award ceremony in the afternoon. But it's just going to be really weird to just be there an hour and, you know, you sit there like, whoa, what do we do now? So, again, I'm usually the half full type person and just thankful that we're actually able to compete this year as opposed to last year where we couldn't even get near the school and we did not compete. So it's just really good to be able to compete this year and actually show up in person. So that's a real good thing. Um, and, and just the students being excited, like, yes, you know, we didn't get a chance last year. We get our chance this year to come back and compete. So that part is amazing. It's just going to be weird to put a lot of this energy effort and then, you know, have that be for an hour. Obviously, you know, that hour can turn into moving on to other competitions. But to just do all this work and then an hour and then, you know, you sit there like that was it, you know, and it's just going to be weird just because we've never experienced that before. So your competitions might be different, guys. So what we did is we sent in videos to the judges so they can check out our robot design, our innovative project. And then we will do the robot game live there at the competition. So they're trying to get teams in and out. Like these set of teams, you did everything. Now you, you guys go, another set of teams comes in. So that way, I guess they're trying to separate the teams and not have anybody be in danger. So, you know, from my point of view, I'm just, again, happy that we're competing, happy that my students can go there in person. We don't have to do anything virtually. They can explain everything in person because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the video is way different than in person. Like my students are so camera shy. It's crazy. You know, they're just like, uh, uh. But when you know you're in person, you're able to speak to somebody, the judges, you know, a little bit more one on one personal and they can be more of themselves rather than speaking in front of a camera. So for that part, I'm super happy. So wish us luck, you guys, those of you that are competing tomorrow, uh, that would be November 13th. Good luck to you guys. And for all of you guys that are competing at whatever time of the year, um, Take it, take it from me. It's definitely just be thankful that you're able to participate at all as opposed to last season and just enjoy it for what it's worth. Okay, guys? All right, guys. I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.